1983 is off to a fresh start, and so too apparently is Dayball Square. There are big crowds taking advantage of a slow Sunday and lots of time with nothing to do. But look closely. These people are mostly browsing, not shopping. Still, I think it's going to be a success. Why do you say that? I think Providence needs a place such as this for people to come on a Sunday or during the week. Shopkeepers say only about a third of the building is occupied. It's been slow at the start, but uh, things have progressed uh, quite well for us. Are you saying that the gamble has paid off? I think so, yes. Both merchants and shoppers agree that once the bigger stores like Talbot's and the Boston store open, business and interest will pick up. The food vendors are already busy. Joe Andre used to sell newspapers here when he was a little boy. Now he owns the papaya tree, his first business. It shows the progress that the city of Providence is uh, its really moving, and uh, I like to see it continue to move. Shopkeepers say traffic has been good this first month. Now they hope sales will match it. Suda Prohaska, Newswatch 10, Providence.